This is what I work from for uh, Dr. Don Baxter. This is, uh, I guess, this is eight and a half by eleven. And if you look at it, there is so much going on that the figures get lost. So, and oh my goodness, it was hard in some areas to because of the background and the photo to see where his head was in the background and even in the arms stretching out so I I had to clarify uh, and make the main action distinct and the main player distinct and one of the things I did was I made the player on the left I uh, made him darker so he uh, you know and uh, Dr. Baxter, I put the light on him, uh, so that uh, uh, he would be the predominant player in this. Okay, here is starting to do that, and I wanted the arm, his arm, reaching towards the ball, and then coming down to his right leg. And these are the different ones that I uh, did where I would make the background darker so you didn't see the background and I tried different things this is very dark and I ended up I uh, went with the, the ball higher instead of I thought bringing it down so the figures would be bigger in the finished piece with the ball closer and if you look at that one and also I had to oh get the color uh, I was having trouble I thought with uh, some of the color this was too bright and uh, so that's what I had to uh, work with and some of the different ways I tried different looks before I came up with the final look, which is, uh, uh, I don't, um, that, the final piece is at Mercer, and I don't have a photograph of that, because I did quite a bit of work on that final uh, piece, so artwork, uh, I hope to get a photograph of it. Uh, this is uh, Jim Wilkes, and if you look at this, there's there's just too much going on. And if you this this hand, I mean this arm extending out is competing with all this, and so this coming over there, all these feet and everything. So I thought I took all of that, a, a lot of those distractions out in uh, Photoshop. And, um, of course, this, uh, it was from the, it was, uh, you know, black and white photograph. And if we come over here, uh, I thought it would be nice to just sort of have him suspended in space. Uh, you, if you look down here a little bit, you, you have a sense of the floor. But I like this uh, in space. And floating and flying. That's what I like about basketball is uh, floating and flying and leaping and bounding. Okay, and here I'm adding a uh, the border and trying to decide on the colors. And if you look, I've changed the colors a little bit from this one to this one. I think uh, I thought this uh, uh, and then I did a larger version right here, and there again I'm changing the uh, matte color, I mean the background color, 
and from a distance this will stand out more instead of if I was doing this everybody would say well what's going on there too, too distracting uh, and here's another version because I did lots of versions and, and here I'm changing the uh, the mat or the border excuse me and doing some other things uh, now this procedure is a well what I did is a combination of digitally changing images not colorizing them the way that if you had an old photograph and you'd send it off and they colorized it and um, it's it's nice but I think it looks flat or no, I wasn't trying to repair the photo there was nothing wrong with this photo so I did a combination of digital digital and painting and uh, on some I did pastel uh, acrylic and oil and I had to figure out how to combine all those techniques so uh, if I put one on top of the other there wouldn't be uh, a problem so uh,